Hello, my beautiful Cancer Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your January 1st through 15th, 2023 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's see what the cards have to say for the first two weeks of 2023. Well, we have the Empress energy and the Two of Swords. The Empress is the energy of the Divine Muse, the Goddess energy, the ability to be your highest frequency in the Divine Feminine. Whether you're a man or a woman, you all have this energy within you. So being in the energy of this allows the Muse to come through and guide you forward to build the life you choose or whatever you're trying to create. She's coming in to help give you ideas and creativity and new dimensions of being. So, very beautiful energy as the Empress comes in and the Two of Swords telling you logic will not serve you right now. When we're in a place of manifesting, it's not logical. You have to be in divine mind and you have to allow yourself to be unlimited as the, as the universe is unlimited. So left brain thinking, this is not the place for it. We're in creativity. So let go of that and stay in right brain creative mind. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light. Divine Spirit, we've got the Queen of Cups, which is the Cancer Queen looking forward to the future. A little bit cautiously optimistic, but ready for new things, ready for the new year. Everybody's pretty much in that same uh, energy, looking forward to new things in the new year. So, Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Well, we've got the Ten of Cups. This is the happily ever after energy. This is being in a place where harmony, peace, happiness, and joy are abound. So being in the energy of very much in as high vibrational frequency as the happily ever after energy comes in or your best possible life now comes in. Financial stability, the four of pentacles. So being very stable and anchored in the energy here. Uh, this means money in the bank as well, four of pentacles. And the emperor, the Aries major arcana and the masculine of the universe, something fully formed and ready for action. Like you can step right into it. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. And soul family energy, the six of cups. This is the energy of people who surround you, who have your highest good in their hearts and may help you through a situation. Right? They're here to help hold you steady in this, in this world. We've got the Seven of Wands, which is you standing your ground or holding your own opinion and not letting other people change your mind. Sometimes we could call this stubbornness, but this is definitely a moment where you're going to make your own mind up. We have the Fool, which is a new cycle beginning where we close the door to the past and we move into the new. Leaving all that negativity behind and being able to start from, from now, right? Very important. And understanding that this is a natural cycle. Everybody loves the fool for the ability for it to close the door and have a fresh clean slate when you step into the new. And the King of Swords. This is Aquarius Major Arcana, Libra Major Arcana, and Gemini Major Arcana. It's also the Archangel Michael. So very anchored in the energy of this King of Swords. So if you have one of those signs in your life, that's the energy of it. And Archangel Michael is always a beautiful energy because it's a protective energy as well. The justice energy being in a place where you feel like you are really focused on your goal and in the, in the interest of achieving it. So as you move forward in your creation, this is the alignment with the end result that you want. Being in that energy is always helpful when you're in the place where you know what you want and you're helping yourself to keep focus on that. This is the right decision being made by you and for you. 
The seven of swords is letting go of something that no longer serves you. It usually means career related here. As you are able to let go or move to a different location or whatever you are choosing to do, this is letting go of, of past things. It can also mean letting go of excess and we have the nine of wands. This is where you're in a place where you've just felt like you've kind of buckled under the pressure of all things. And you're just going, I just want the, I just want my life to be good. And I just want to be in a place where I'm stable. Well, all you have to do is remain present and don't jump ship too soon, right? Being in the energy of waiting for it to, to show up for you because you've done all the work you need to get there. And... Then we have the Four of Cups. So that may have something to do with what the going to a different place here, maybe talking about the, a new job offer coming in that you prefer. And as you move into that energy, you're able to receive what's been aligned for you. And it's sort of like a blessing in disguise because it doesn't, uh, I call it a blessing in a brown paper bag. It doesn't usually present um, as good as it is. Sometimes we don't know what what we have until we realize we've turned it away. So be sure to vet everything before you give up on it. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. So it looks like something's working right here. The Ten of Pentacles is abundance and it means a lifetime of abundance. It can be a new job where it comes in as overtime and payments or it can be a lump sum, some kind of inheritance or some kind of winnings that you get. So we love the Ten of Pentacles as that's the culmination of that happily ever after energy. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all cancer, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Oops. We thank you. For these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We appreciate this wonderful guidance, and we welcome your divine energy as always. We thank you for your presence, and we are grateful for your assistance. Well, that's the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So that's a pretty solid energy of success. Right in, right in this, that's the main story here. The storyline is... Being in a place where the money is flowing and you're in a place of harmony in your household. And maybe for some people selling a house or buying a house. And well, hang on, I got two cards. There's the two of pentacles where there may be some distractions and some things going on. And he's not letting that stuff get to him. So ignore all things that would be trying to break your concentration on receiving this abundance. And you've got the Ten of Cups here as well with the fully actualized energy of that Aries uh, Emperor. So fully formed masculine energy, something fully, fully active. And the Ten of Rods, which means moving to a new location to work or being in a place where you're now working from home. It does mean you're near your soul family, so that can be very much in that energy of feeling like you're in a collective group of people. The Ten of Rods means the whole new cycle begins. It's less of a burden. The burden is lifted. The struggle is over. Three of Pentacles is the energy of moving forward and making sure you put all the pieces in the right place as you step onto each one, and you will receive double for your trouble in that. Sagittarius Temperance card. This is the energy of the divine light being used by Archangel Uriel. And she's creating a synchronistic outcome. So that's beautiful that she's right there with the fool. So that means that new cycle is going to be a smooth transition. And the Page of Swords, getting whatever information you need here. The Informers coming in to assist as the King of Swords is there. So very much in getting the information you need to help you make decisions and move forward. And we have the Ace of Cups, which is the blessing in the universe. It's a, literally the seal of approval as the right decisions are being made by you and for you. This Ace of Cups is going to help you with whatever you need. It's there to be had. 
Now, death to the old way. We've got this Scorpio Major Arcana coming in to clean and purge and clear the past as you begin a fresh new start. And the King of Swords, Archangel Michael. Very present as far as the Aquarius as well. It is the energy, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini energy. And it's also the energy of clearing all obstacles. So that will help with this breakthrough energy of the 9. Remember, you were at the 9 here, but there's the 10. So you know that's coming. And as you're standing at the 9's energy, remember, it's kind of like uh, having to be present to win at a, at a raffle. You just got to be there. Got to stay present and, and be available to it. And being able to start a new, a new beginning, leaving behind what no longer needs your assistance because you've taken this as far as you can. There's no more room for it to grow. It's fully grown. It can stand on its own. And now you can turn your attention to other things. So we have the energy of moving forward and progressing through life with the universe assisting you. Tons of tens. These are amazing. Ten of ten of uh, pentacles showed up twice because it was in the underlier, and the ten of cups showed up twice. So very solid energy of allowing yourself to move in the in the energy of this. And you also have Archangel Michael twice, air sign energy twice. So very beautiful, very abundant, lots of new things coming in. I send you lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and prosperity to you all. I will see you again in the middle of January. Namaste, my beautiful friends. Have a great first part of the year.